I've just beamed him to another exciting location for the Winchester Film Festival. It's running from the 9th, 10th and 11th of October with lots of film screenings in lots of venues. And did I mention it's all free? Now I've heard of Sky Plus, but that's ridiculous. But it is a clue as to where I am today and the venue I'm going to show you. And so the next clue is a factory where they make giant golf balls. <laughs> it's a planetarium. A planetarium in Winchester? Yes, that's right. And it's here at the Intec Science Centre. And this is where we're going to show our very exclusive screening. Let's go talk to Dr Jenny Shipway to find out more. So here we are at the Intec Science Centre. Could you tell us some information about the venue? Yeah, the venue's been here since 2002 as a science centre, but just last year we opened what is the biggest capacity plant home in the UK. It's an incredible digital display system. You probably can't see on the camera there, but we're enclosed by this huge hemisphere that goes right the way around. So you get this real feeling of virtual reality of sort of immersion in the scene. And it gives almost a 3D effect to what you're seeing because your brain can't quite work out what on Earth's going on. So obviously planetariums use them a lot for doing astronomy, but also you can use them for other things. So it's great for the film festival to be able to show quite a different sort of show from what we'd normally be doing here. How does it work? We've got six digital projectors ranged around the room and each one shines up onto the screen and they have a section of screen and then they're blended into each other so you get this seamless image. We have a whole rack of computers back there, one for each projector. We have another computer that manages the whole thing, tells the other projectors what they want to be showing. We've got a surround sound cinema sound system here, massive subwoofer at the bottom. And it's just absolutely stunning. I mean, you won't see any film, anything like this, anywhere else in the UK. It's just a world-class facility. And it's very hard to explain in words because you sort of have to experience it, really. So this is what you can do in here. This is one of my favourite bits, the dancing robots. And this is from a film called Sonic Vision, which we should have music all around us at the moment, but it's for the sake of you being able to hear me, we've turned that down. The, all the music is mixed by Moby. It's fantastic. How important is the festival to you and the venue? It's a fantastic thing for us to be part of. This should be a resource for all of the South, really. I mean, this is an amazing thing. And we want to be involved in working with other groups, with festivals, with things like this. And also to let people know what we've got here. I think a lot of people probably think we're some sort of sinister government research facility because they drive down the road and they see this weird pyramid and dome on top of the building with some satellite dishes in front of us. In fact, the satellite dishes aren't even part of our site. So there's not just screenings going on, is there? There's lots of things going on at the planetarium. So as well as shows and all our exhibits and shows for the kids, all different ages and groups from the university, adult groups, astronomy clubs. Yeah, the thing is just to use it as much as we possibly can. And of course, film festival is part of that. So what's your favourite film? I feel like I should say something very spacey, but I think I'm probably going to plump, embarrassingly enough, for Pirates of the Caribbean 1. Because it's brilliant, it's a bit of a guilty pleasure, but I think especially Johnny Depp playing that character right on the knife edge of, you sort of almost quite fancy him, but also he's absolutely disgustingly scummy in a way that would make you vomit if he came close. And it's just the balance of that performance, I think, is sheer genius.